and welcome to this edition of Yes 101 Special Radio. For the news first team, I'm Shalani Ratnavira. First, let's take a look at your headlines. News first headline. National Election Commission urges employers to grant adequate leave for employees for voting. Special days designated for postal voting begin today. President extends warm wishes to the U.S. President. Lebanese rescuers say 30 killed in Israeli strike on apartment building. Inzaghi pride as Inter's defense blunts arsenal. to your top story, the Election Commission has received several complaints about employers not providing adequate leave for public and private sector employees to cast their votes in the upcoming general election. Commissioner General of Elections Samanshri Ratnayak emphasizes that employers are legally required to grant leave to employees for voting under Article 122 of the Parliamentary Elections Act No. 1 of 1981. In an announcement on November 2nd, the Commissioner reminded employers that they must grant leave in a manner that allows employees to vote without any salary deductions or reductions in their personal leave. The guidelines specify that any employee who requests leave to vote in writing must be granted time off. This leave should be considered a special holiday with pay and is not deducted from the employee's regular leaves. State sector employees are entitled to special leave for the general election with a minimum duration of four hours without any salary deduction. The exact duration of leave should be determined based on the distance from the employee's workplace to the polling station. The Election Commission further highlights that employers should display a notice at the workplace detailing the leave period granted and other relevant information to ensure transparency. Now on to more local news. The two special days designated for postal voting for the 2024 general election is today and tomorrow. Commissioner General of Elections Saman Shri Ratnayaka says that state sector employees who were unable to cast their postal votes on the 30th of October and 1st and 4th of November may do so today and tomorrow. Arrangements have been made for them to cast their votes at the district secretariat in the district to which their workplaces belong. Moving on to more local news, Sri Lankan President Anurakumara Desanayake has congratulated newly elected US President Donald J. Trump on his election as the 47th President of the United States. Posting on X, he expressed warm congratulations to President-elect Trump for receiving strong endorsement as the next US President. He also conveyed his anticipation of engaging with the Trump administration to work towards common objectives that would benefit both Sri Lanka and the United States. International News Lebanon's civil defense agency says first respondents have recovered the bodies of 30 people killed in an Israeli airstrike on an apartment building south of Beirut. Tuesday evening's attack destroyed one side of the four-story building that was reportedly housing displaced people in the predominantly Sunni Muslim coastal town of Baja and sparked a fire. The Israeli military said it struck terror infrastructure belonging to the Shia armed group Hezbollah. According to the Lebanese Health Ministry, another 40 people were killed in Israeli strikes around the eastern governorates of Baalbek and Beka on Wednesday. Sports News In your sports news, Inter Milan coach Simon Insagi praised his side's 
defending after they shut out Arsenal in the Champions League on Wednesday, just as they did against Manchester City earlier in the competition. The controversially awarded penalty converted by Hakan Khan Hologu on the stroke of half-time proved enough for a 1-0 victory that left Inter on 10 points from four group games. What is more, they are yet to concede a goal, a feat only matched by Serie A rivals Atlanta. Well, that's a wrap of this edition of Yes 101's Visual Radio. For the news first team, I'm Chalini Ratnavira. Thank you for watching.